go to a couple of days of training again. So this is volume squats, volume press and volume pull ups. So volume, volume, volume. And uh, if you watch my last video you'll have seen that I've decreased the intensity of my volume squat day. So I was doing 5x5 five five at 85% of my one rep max. And this week I was doing 75% of my one rep max for 5x6. So it was a bit of a breath of fresh air to be honest because I've been beating myself up with quite intense 5x5s five five for a while now. And uh, my only worry with this is that it was so light it was pretty much a warm up weight. And I was worried that it wouldn't be enough of a stimulus to drive progress. And I guess... Uh, it remains to be seen whether it is enough. When I did it, it felt pretty easy. But today is the day after and uh, my legs feel pretty sore. So not that soreness is a proxy for progress, but uh, it must have had some sort of stressful effect on my body for, for me to be this sore. So this is the first set. As I said, I'm doing five sets of six reps and 75% of my current one rep max, so that's 107 kilos. Felt super light and I was really happy with my form throughout all of these sets. I thought maybe when I got to the fifth set I'd be uh, tiring, but the hardest part of this was basically the cardio <laughs> aspect. I was quite out of breath. Which maybe shows that I need to do some actual cardio at some point soon. I've noticed that I've put on a little bit of fat lately. In that I've got a slight double chin. And a little bit of fat on my waist. So I think I'm going to try to not gain weight for a bit. And just um, maintain my weight. And then if I keep making strength progress at the same weight. Hopefully my body fat percentage will come down a little bit. I don't mind carrying some body fat, I'm not really in the market for abs, but uh, yeah, a double chin's not ideal. <laughs> so if you watched the last video, you'll have heard me talk about how I'm going to cycle my squat volume. So hopefully this three week cycle will culminate in a new PR of 147.5 kilos. Now, I'm honestly pretty sceptical, <laughs> but I'm only sceptical because I've not done um, a squat cycle before. I, everything's been done on a week weekly basis, so um, I guess time will tell whether this type of programming works. I'm putting a lot of faith in people like Andy Baker who say that it does, and uh, if people who are experienced lifters and coaches say that it does work, then I'm inclined to believe them. So time will tell, and obviously you'll see whether it works or not. But um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Again, I linked to the article um, with, the, with the example program that I'm using in the last video, but I'll link it again in case it's useful for anyone. And this is press. So in press, I was doing five by five, working up to fifty-seven point five kilos for the first two, then down a kilo for the next two, and then down a kilo for the last one. Pretty good today. I nearly hit every single set. I think I'm making more progress in the press because I'm. Uh, performing the reps better like I'm locking out every single rep where I was being lazy before since I started locking out my progress has been much faster so my weight now is 79 kilos which I think is about 174 pounds and I'm going to maintain this weight just at least for a couple of weeks um, 
just to try to get rid of that extra unnecessary fat that I'm carrying. So then I drop down a kilo and this is where it started getting really hard. I was taking a lot of rest between sets up to nine minutes. Um, but the last few sets were still really, really difficult. I should say for the uh, several of you who are signed up to the Strong by Design app, um, there are a few changes coming uh, later tonight, actually, which um, should hopefully make it more useful for you. One of them will be that you'll have a sort of strength log on your profile, uh, so you can keep track of your lifts historically and your strength score. And then soon I'll be adding a graph so you can visually see it. Um, again, I'll leave a link in the description to that in case anyone else wants to check it out. It's free, it's just a way of tracking your strength score over time across all the main compound lifts. And also there's a social aspect where uh, people who are more proficient can help out people like me who are intermediates and people like me who are intermediates can help out people who are beginners or novices. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description. And then this is volume pull-ups, so fairly light at 3.75 kilos. And still kind of getting used to this new setup of doing it off the barbell, but it's not actually too bad. It looks awful because it moves a lot, but it feels fine. So three sets of five was the goal. And it was relatively easy. I think maybe the very last rep of the last set I really struggled with. Next time I do heavy weighted pull-ups, I'll be doing them with 15 kilos, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, that's it for this couple of days. Not very exciting, no PRs, just lots of volume, but getting it done. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in a couple more days. Bye.